continues to build. Greetings, hello and welcome to a brand new Long of the Chosen series. And a very weird long loading screen without any sound in the background. Ah, there we go. Operation Gatecrasher, a brand new series. Um, let's see what we're into. Who's here? Who's not? Oh, looks like we rolled a skirmisher start. Off the charts. It is, it is. Alright. Um, yeah, let's have a quick look through the roster. We have uh, I Hero here, 1666. Traductor, 65 aim. 15 mobility. Xanthalos with 60 aim. That's a little bit on the low end for a skirmisher, but you know, 17 mobility, that's gonna be fun. Paulo. Coming in with 60 mobility, 64 aim. I was going to complain about the low aim in the squad, and there's Bible Thumb with 73 aim. But low, slow, slow, slow. Man, we really hope to roll a sharpshooter on that one. Zombie, middle of the road here. And Sama with 72 aim, another 13 mobility. Alright, we're on a graveyard. Um, yeah, nothing else exciting new here, except it's an exciting new okay. campaign. So let's just roll around the map, see what we can find. It's Gatecrasher. What could it possibly be? Now, In I'm gonna, gonna cue you in on some unspoken truth. When I start a new campaign, you might not always be seeing um, on YouTube the very first Gatecrasher. There might be several restarts until I get a start that, you know, is actually working out. I'll do a song and dance for you. Now in this case, this is actually my first start, if you're seeing this. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. And if you wouldn't see this, uh, then I would mention in, in follow-up starts how many attempts I did. Go. So this is not just um, to make sure that Gatecrasher runs smoothly, but also the, the strategy layer afterwards. Because, um, you know, especially Long War is a, such a kind of long-term commitment and very snowball-y. And if you have a bad start, that just makes everything else worse. Alright, they're running away from us. Kind of ish. And having the officer pot on Gatecrasher as the first enemy group is kind of my preferred way of dealing uh, doing things here. Sounds good. Exploring here. Take a slow approach here. Yeah, we already passed a large portion of the map here. I can dig that. Heading to that location. Double time it. I'm ready. I'm not a hundred percent liking this. Got it covered. I hope you got a plan. On Overwatch. Just like any other mission, you don't want to just activate. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. All the groups at once. Their obedience makes them predictable. This is just all kinds of awkward right now. Here in strike range. The only as a bright summer day advantage I have here 
is that we are kind of, you know, an L shaped engagement uh, engagement area here. So we can come in at that coming well, we're coming in on them from multiple sides. More or less. I mean there's just one of us over on that side. Anytime you're ready. Yes, I can get Paulo over here too. Follow me. There's no high ground to work with, so no no grapple opportunity for our skirmisher. So that's kind of not really Scanning. where I want to be fighting. Drop them here. Preparing to defend here. Splitting up again. So unless I'm gonna be. Well, even if I'm if I'm trapped, I can grapple out. If this my if they come this way, we might get revealed here next turn. So let's let's be aware of that. Orders confirmed. Moving out. That probably means I want to completely abandon that side. Survey this area. Over there. Thank you for your help over there. That's good. Get you back over there. Okay, okay, okay. Affirmative. Moving out. Like old times. Eyes open. Covering on Roger. Get Got down my here. Not fair if I have all the fun. And they turn around. Okay, I think we're just gonna position ourselves in a way to get revealed next turn and start taking shots here. I'm... yeah. Moving to designated position. Alright. All day long. Don't have to tell me twice. Watch and learn. Oh, I'm seeing the second group in the back. Okay, well. No, let's just take the engagement. I'm already behind on recording, and I haven't even started yet here. So let's just, let's just go. Officer's dead. One of the troopers is dead. That was a uh, disappointing Overwatch or uh, ambush. There's nothing else coming. Alright, I see some easy flanks here. At least on that trooper and this guy, we should be able. Maybe, no, we can't get really get a flank on that guy. For one, okay, great. Um, yeah, just gonna make sure that we actually get get a flashbang in there. Approaching target now. Screaming civilians mode. Oh. 
On the move. So you take take a shot at the engineer. Try to finish the engineer. Who has the lowest aim here? Um, that's gonna be. Be your. It's gonna be sweet. Let's do this. All right, we got a kill. We got a kill. I'm excited. Off to a fantastic start here. Um, so how likely are we going to be um, flanked over here? This prevents a direct flank, but I think the, the gunner could run. I don't think, if we flashbang, I don't think he can reach that spot, and I don't think he can see me from there. So let's go here. Take the flank on whoever that is. That's right. Burn it through, I'll move fast. Uh, who do I have left? Pensive up here. Probably the one from the flashbang. I demand answers. I think we're gonna throw a grenade on this guy. The best gift you will ever give. Wow! Have I destruction in my XCOM? Okay. Not used to seeing that. Well, you've got to reload either way. Um, so, one thing um, which is always super helpful on, on Gatecrasher is if you can get five kills with your hero class, they get a promotion. Um, I'm not even sure we got one so far, although we, we are showing a free XP. No, that's because you start with 3 XP as the second rank. No, you didn't get any kills so far. There's just 5 enemies left on the map. There's no way we can get all the kills with you. So you're just gonna be a little bit slower. So that means you know today you're gonna be the one throwing the flashbang to cancel that overwatch. That's a really need to get that loot. So if, as I said, I want to do a Psy Rush. And getting loot to sell is super important. I guess you're the only one who can safely get this. Closing on target. I got no idea what this thing is. That's five supplies. That's not not the most amazing loot, though. Raiders roll. All right, let's keep the pressure on. Um. There is a chance, but a very, very low chance, to get five damage on the sentry. So I don't. I'm not centering it on him. I'm putting it on the next tile over to get um, damage fall off from the center. It's a 
very, very minor difference for basic grenades, but it's... Yeah, it basically, the difference is whether it rolls between 2 and 5 damage of the grenade or between 1 and 5 damage. So, you know, going from a 25% chance to killing him to a 20%. Not a hit. Yeah, getting that gunner is gonna be a little bit difficult. Uh, I think I'm gonna just move you back here. That allows you to come in here. Finish off the NG. Gonna make sure I have this. Loot is abysmal so far. And I just want to discourage him from moving. I really want to discourage you from killing my people. Six health, there's no risk of actually getting a kill here. Um, at least the kill on the gunner. <laughs> Certainly going to put in a good word for you if we make I got it no it. idea what this thing is. But minus PCS, I think that's 15 supplies. That's a good find. He's down. Son of a. And an autoloader. All right. So it's just the sectoid plus whatever he's running around with left. Count me in. Didn't take any real damage. Attention to that area. Load it. Lock and load. On your order. Scanning. All righty. Fine by me. Guess that was enough. All day long. I am. I'm yelling. I'm yelling at you. Yelling. Yelling. Can you hear me? Yelling. So they can be pretty much anywhere, right? I have no indication. I didn't hear any sounds. Weapons hot. I'm just gonna slowly creep forward, not split up too much. But I also don't want to direct this mission on. Like we already spend a lot of time for the initial ambush. Go, go. And with time passing, you see the green bar, that's the willpower of the soldiers. Um, they need a break if their willpower drops too low. Actually, very concerning here. What's your willpower? 20. You already lost 4. Gotta make a lure. Set a trap. Watching here. I don't want to keep um, scaring civilians because when they're yelling, they kind of alert the enemies. The rubber's on the road, and the kids are in the back seat. Raiders roll. They could totally also be back here, but I'm kind of focusing my efforts on this this area. Go. Oh, oh. scared him anyway. I thought it was three tiles. Guess it's four tiles where you scare civilians. All right. About damn time. See, it's not it's not just a learning video. It's also learning experience for myself. Get it done. Get down here. 
Not fair if I have all the fun. Covering on subject yeah. urban cowboy. Affirmative. Covering noise. Gonna shoot something. What? Exploring here. But then he just keeps running into the direction where I want to go. Affirmative. Oh. A game showed me something over here. Alright, cool. So let's not yeah. actually reveal that. Bring everybody over. Affirmative. I don't mind a reasonable amount of trouble. Completely out of out of the picture right now. Whatever. On Overwatch. Ready to fire. Let's go. Sure. Let's set up a long range flank here. They are not even alerted. Alright. Some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Stupid, whatever. Oh, come on! The Overwatches this mission so far have been um, mediocre, to say the least. So we can get a flank shot here, but that's also flanking myself. Do you? You have a flashbang. Okay, so that's probably gonna be... yeah. It Sometimes it can be better to leave the sector on flashbang so he can raise a corpse or something, but the corpse is all back here. Uh, I guess I guess he could reach that, but I don't know. Two overwatches, let's clear them. Confirmed coordinates. Distinct lack of high cover in this area for me. Or anywhere really, even when approaching them. Get you in there. Who here has a grenade? Want to do a little bit of damage to the sectoid. Moving to position. Get ready for a surprise. Like a little bit more. Setting right. ourselves up to be uh, disappointed for overwatches, that might be a good idea. Okay. Yeah. No, not taking that grapple. On my way. I'm on it. So the sector is currently flanked, so he will run. This guy is not flanked yet. Half cover, but nobody has line of sight here, so let's just dash over there. So we've got two overwatches. Good enough for him.
Nice flank on the guy here. That doesn't hit. Okay. Let's see. We can do at least a little bit of skirmish action. Grapple we'll up here. Then we run around this way, drop down here. Come behind him. That's not enough to trigger his overwatch. That kill was Positive confirmation. Satisfied. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. So what is a little bit concerning, um, considering I said we want to do a Psy Rush. First of all, take the good old photo and get on the Sky Ranger. We did not get any Lyrum from the first mission, which can only drop from aliens, so only from the sectoids. Without that we can't research Psy Onics. So if we're not getting that from the first two missions, good work out there, Commander. We're one step closer to taking back our planet. Uh, then either we have to pivot our research plan, or you know, restart. I don't know. I don't know how to best handle this. Okay, so we got yeah, disappointing loot. That's just around thirty supplies of loot. Ah, oh, that's a bit loud. That's a bit Tigan. Um, all right, so we're always going to start with resistance comms, even though we are trying to to rush um, psionics in this campaign, which is going to be then alien biotech into sectoid autopsy into psionics. But resistance comms has to be first. Now, the well, first of all, let's have a quick look at the barracks. Uh, wow, 55 aim, 50 mobility. Where did your stat budget go? I mean, you've got 31 psi, so probably going to be one of our psionics. Some 70 aim people here. 5, 63, another 55. That's, oh, you don't know what to say, not even fast uh, high mobility here. Natalie with 17 at least. Oh, we've got three 55 aim rookies, game. I, I see some, some rough, rough missions coming up with that roster. A lot of either low low aim or low mobility people, or kind of both, for some reason. First of all, we have the ungrateful task <laughs> of doing random promotions. So, by default, long of the chosen, um, you can't choose the class, right? We did that in the last mod gem campaign. We had the, the mod that gave us free class to, um, as an option, but here it's just going to be random. It's going to be there's a, a deck of cards with the eight classes in there, and it just pulls a random card out of this. So there are different approaches to this. Um, what I usually like doing is, you know, select someone with middle of the road stats. Gentleman, he has, you know, 64, it's one below average aim, one above average mobility. So, I think no matter what class I pull, we're going to be fine. And he's going to be a Grenadier. Fantastic. That's that's not uh, bad, not bad at all. Um, and I want to have Grenadiers. Um, actually, a lot of my plan, since we won't get weapon upgrades, 
when doing Cyramax early. A lot of my survival in this campaign is gonna be based on having damage grenadiers. So that's kind of the build I'm going for for damage grenadier. Getting more damage with needle grenades. So as soon as you reach sergeant level, boosted course, your grenades will one shot um, troopers, so minimum damage of four, and can even uh, one shot an officer. So it's then four to seven damage at that point. And once you get here with tandem, it doesn't even matter where you center your grenade, like anywhere in the radius, it's going to be four to seven. So. Um, that's a good first pick. Little bit low health, but other than that also middle of the road stats for an assault. Free health, maybe not the best I've ever seen, but okay. Anything exciting here on the XCOM roll? Reposition is kind of a little bit like uh, implacable, which makes it very interesting. Let's, let's mark that off. I think the first assault usually for me is gonna be someone. Uh, you always pick lightning reflexes, right? I need someone with trench gun for the early early network towers, and then I want my killer instinct lightning reflexes. Um. Uh, killer Instinct extra conditioning. That being said, with reposition, I think we're going for close encounters. So you can shoot somebody, um, then take the reposition to move somewhere else and shoot somebody else. I think that gives us a lot of flexibility here. Uh, touchable into probably lethal. Planning out a lot of stuff here already. Um, I'm not 100% staying with that, necessarily. You have not terrible aim, so we could I could see myself picking Shredder, and you're helping out with Shredding, but if everything goes right, you're going to be throwing grenades every single turn. So I don't think there's going to be too much Shredding, or rather... Probably more value out of an untouchable or maybe a running gun. Alright, so we got an assault, we got a grenadier. Got a technical. That's okay mobility for a technical. That's fairly high aim. Like the um, the concern I have, I have my low aim classes where I'm more than happy to have a low aim soldier. They're already gone, right? Except for a specialist, maybe. Um, all right, what are we going for here? I think there's got to be a good old flamethrower. Probably with Bunker Buster. Maybe with Shredder instead of Burnout. And picking up Lightning Reflexes to run Overwatches is not a bad uh, shake of the sauce bottle. Yeah, nothing else makes much sense here. Alright. Um, scary promotions here. I still got to promote a 58, and at this point, I I guess I'm okay with them being a shinobi or a specialist, but not a sharpshooter, gunner, or ranger. And there's the gunner. It's okay. That's more than okay. Hello, most important soldier in my barracks right away. Shadow Strike. Okay, 
I've, I've probably talked a little bit about Shader Strike Saturation Fire in the past, and there's no difference here. This is uh, awesome to see that right from the get go. So, my standard shooting build is something like this stuff. Well, actually, I'm recently torn between Rupture and Rapid Fire because I never really get to Rupture anyway, so why pick it up? Um, and depending on how we're looking, maybe we actually skip Chain Shot, pick up Demolition, and go Cyclic Rapid Fire. Because once you have Rapid, Chain Shot becomes kind of pointless. Um, yeah, it's 5 aim better, but. Who gives a damn? Average is. I want to say. 42, 35. Um, no, I think low is 28, 35, 42 AP, so we can actually get two good skills, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so it's Shooter Ranger, where I want us to have somebody high aim. Specialist Shinobi, where I'm okay with having someone low aim. Shinobi with really low aim might actually be a problem. Shinobi with low mobility is even a bigger problem though. So it's a 50-50 now. If you actually roll one of the high end classes. I, I hate the random promotion system a little bit, but I also think it's kind of interesting. Ah. Let's bite the bullet. High aim soldier goes into a specialist. Okay. Game's trolling me hard here today. Alright, um, on the bright side. Well, I guess I guess you're gonna be an overwatch specialist, right? We have Hunter's Instinct. That's gonna make your overwatch shots actually hurt. Um We've got implacable. Low combat intelligence, you're not gonna get that. That mobility is concerning. So even though I do like airdrop, we're gonna need ever vigilant to make up for the mobility so you can dash and keep up with the scoot. Uh, we're gonna need pull under pressure. And we wanna have kill zone. Um gonna go for the field surgeon. And then what? Uh, that's gotta be Trojan here. And I was looking through, you know, my last campaigns, etc. How often did I actually full override an enemy unit? And it's surprisingly rarely happening. So I think we're just gonna go with threat assessment. We we'll lean into that Overwatch thing because I also I also wanna build. Um, an Overwatch Ranger or two, and that might give some nice squad synergy then. Doing a lot of planning here already, but I think it's important. All right, so now we have a Ranger promotion and a Shinobi and a Sharpshooter. So we gotta take the high aim guy, and he's gonna be the Shinobi. Oh, game! <laughs> All right. All right, um, man, that's that's tricky. Like seventy-five aim, you kind of wanna. My first gut instinct here is okay, cool. Let's build him as a, a shooting shinobi, right, with hidden run and rapid fire. Because we also have locked on, which is really nice for shooting. Um, average combat int. Precision shot. So there's some interesting options here, but with 13 mobility, that's awful. Um, I guess we can kind of fix that with a PCS maybe later on. I think this is going to be a big old. Um, we'll, I'll think about it. So one thing we can do here, and that I'm 
probably going to do is not select a promotion. So the only two classes I don't have yet are Ranger and a Sharpshooter. I do not want a 58 aim Sharpshooter unless I would maybe give him a bad aim holo targeting officer role. That seems too early to do that. And I don't want a low aim ranger if they also have low mobility. Or, well, not high mobility. So, yeah. We're gonna wait for the next few rookies to promote. Unfortunately, he has 33 SI. You see that on the left side, but since he already has a promotion from Gatecrasher, we cannot turn him into a Cernic. We cannot unpromote a soldier. Commander to the armory. Uh, I don't think so. All right, let's do a quick options check here. We want to pause on recruit. I think there was something else I needed to activate at the start. Um, no, no, I think that's all good. All right. Um, I mentioned at the start, right? There's a big, big variable here in terms of getting a campaign on the off the ground. And very often in previous YouTube campaigns, if I had incredibly bad luck, I would just restart from Gatecrasher. You would never see it. And you would think, oh, that streamer is so lucky. I always get the lucky missions right from the get-go. So I'm not going to pretend that I'm always super lucky. And um, there's one thing that I've uh, kind of um, learned, looked up, Adopted from a uh, good buddy Illogical, who, uh, whenever he completes a gate crasher, he takes a safe game before going to the strategy map. The so called no bad timers are safe. So, if the first mission times are so bad that we can't feasibly run these missions, we're just gonna go back to the, the safe. Yeah, it's a little bit safe scumming, but the alternative is to either, you know, play a losing campaign. I think I can disable these alerts. Um, yeah, you're, you're going to lose the campaign because, as I said, there's a lot of snowballing. Um, Commander. Or you just restart from, from, from the very start from Gatecrasher. And, I, you know, considering it's 100 hours or so for a campaign, I value my time more. Now that she's done, okay. Make sure we have uh, a Haven Advisor in here and find the first two missions. So, the things that would, if the first two missions are on bad timers that we can't run, I would go back to this save I just created. That's a good timer, probably. Seven days, that's perfect. Engineer, that's what you want to see. Um... Yeah, let's confirm that. I think we're gonna bring our our skirmisher here. We wanna bring our grenadier. Don't need the shinobi for that. I do want the specialist to get the hacking reward. Let's see if we can squeeze in five or six people. Now, we know that rookies that we sent here will get sharpshooter and or ranger promotions. Got those willpower values here. 17, 18. Then here we have 45. Active dodge. I 
don't think we have anyone above 70. Okay, so let's get... You in there. I don't think I can actually run with six people here. Even if we go full SMG. You're gonna go SMG. No, that's not happening. Alright, so since we have I aim I think I wanna have one of you with an assault rifle still. You know, some people claim, oh just SMGs and grenades, enough for the first few missions. Well some people can be wrong. Right, plenty of grenades, two flashbangs, three flashbangs, four flashbangs, that's too many flashbangs. And another grenade in here. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. The other thing that can ruin the start of a campaign So that's a supply crate extraction in an abandoned city. Not the best timer, but I think we can squeeze in a five. Um, I think I want my technical for this. Alright. Get a shinobi, get the gunner, get the technical. I want to level up a lot of people, but I also want to get rookies promoted, right? Now let's focus on our main squad, the Gatecrasher veterans, unless I can for some reason, no, well, it's the same issue, it's just the timers are not perfect that we're getting here. Alright, I'm going to give you the double grenade SMG treatment, um, I'm going to give you a med kit on the, to be on the safe side. What's I going to do here? I think, yeah, double, double grenade. Um, one thing I didn't do, I ignored the bond between our technical and our skirmisher, even though I think that's a decent bond to take. I'm just ignoring that for the first mission. Alright, not perfect timers, but I think good enough. Like, for me, the I'm gonna go back to the autosave and not... and re-roll the strategy layer is if I can't run these missions with at least five people. Alright. Although that means, yeah, now I don't have anyone to put in into the Haven as a Haven advisor. Well. Alright, switch that over to recruit. 
head over to the block market. Avenger plotting new course. So the one other thing, if we research resistance pumps and we find out that we only have two outgoing connections from our starting region, that's also for me pretty much a restart because that makes things incredibly hard. Um, on, I would even say almost impossible. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. Although with that starting position, it's very unlikely to only have two connections. You can already see two here. That's very likely going one to Eastern Europe. Right, let's go into biotech. We believe eager to begin, Commander. Believe in the Leon core drop. We can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the globe. Once we've collected sufficient intel to make contact, we'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. So I think this is actually a decent start here. So we our first contact will probably be New India. It's a strength sex haven, so we're gonna have six rebels here. It's gonna give us two new connection and an alternative connection to Eastern Europe. Um, does not have a connection to New Indonesia. Okay, all good. Um, that's much longer do you need? We might over-infiltrate that a little bit to sync up these missions um, a tiny bit here. Market is open. We need a scientist, but I think we're gonna buy the engineer, start excavating, get some money, and get the scientist that way. So that's 125. We're gonna need to sell a little bit here. Um, we can probably sell all of this. God, that's just five. 20 supplies from Gatecrasher, that's awful. We do have a smash and grab at least, so we should get enough to Commander, get in. We currently have no new supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out new engineer for that. You're going to be ready in two days, 17. I think that's a fool's errand trying to sync them up. Put people back on Intel. Setting course for Sector 15, West Asia. Should start making contact here. Yeah, it's not a not a great start on the strategy layer. I think I'll I'll wait a little bit. Um, so it's for me, it's really about optimizing the time with the Avenger. Um, the Avenger scanning here adds four additional people on Intel in terms of mission detection. So you want to be scanning here when there's missions to detect. At the moment, two missions are running, so there's no missions available to be detected. Um, so I don't want to be making contact here while a new mission is available. Decisions, decisions. And this is just the kind of min-maxing that you don't need to do actually on lower difficulties, but on Legend it can make a bit of a difference. Alright, I think we're gonna actually wait this out fully. And start scanning here, start making contact. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Now I need to run this.
Oh, are we gonna do two missions in the first episode? I guess we are. We just got word from the spokesman. Apparently the aliens have captured a VIP of critical importance to the resistance effort and they'd like us to handle the rescue operation. We'll need to lock down the area, free the VIP, and evac the target as quickly as possible. Menace 1-5, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Kill them all. Simple as that. I hate this map layout already. Don't like it at all. Um... I hope we're not running into any civilians okay. down below. It's the only thing that could make it even worse, yeah? I'll try to cross this bridge. I'm waiting. Moving to be a problem. Get there. But also, you know, with your low mobility. Time to motor. Let's go there. I really don't want to get discovered by a drone here. That feels really bad. Let's actually have you go. If you go there. So on missions, my approach usually is um, kept, catch out an early group of enemies with some sort of ambush. So the best ambush I have in this squad is probably a grenade from gentlemen. You're not stuck. The drone could, of course, fly back up here, and we're just, we're just screwed. There's not much you can do against that. But that's just something we have to live with. Heading out. I think it's more likely that it will fly along this path in this direction. Which is also not great, right? It's gonna gonna probably um, block us here. It can also, I think it can fly across the water. I'm actually not sure if it can. Moving to position. Rolling out. Boosting. Go. Yeah, it can fly across the water. We're learning here today. Nothing interesting on that hacking tower. We're gonna have civilians here blocking our path. Well, not for SMG guys. That's a good group for an ambush for the grenade thrower. On my way. Yeah, you know, what? let's just bring you up. Affirmative. Stay down there. Let's get going. So we've got a, two troopers and a sectoid. Um, we can probably kill the troopers. And again, sectoid, the hope is still alive that we get an Illyrium core somewhere, somehow. All right. Not just launch the grenade right away, check if we have any other enemies nearby. No, okay. So I'm going to center it. That's not 
that is the cell where my VIP is. Okay. Get close to the trooper in the back here. Yeah? Okay, you know what? Do I have to do everything? Of course he had loot. Let's get awesome. And one damage grenade on the sectoid. Unfortunately, you can't jump across this thing, so even though the sector looks like he should be easily flankable, well, he still is, but it's gonna be a tough pill. Might just have to be another grenade. Preparing to defend there. And no need drop. Extended mag. Here I come. So, with my low mobility here, move six starts. If I go here, one, two, three, four, five, I can't even get up there. So, I think I need to go here in order to move up. And f if he doesn't move, I want to move up and flank him. I need to move here. Oof. Solid copy. Advent forces on the ground. That might not be the best uh, outcome of that move that we could have hoped for. Got it covered. Valo, jak wściekli. I need a med kit here. Uh, so even the guy who does not flank me sh hits me properly. The flanking guy misses. And the other guy, for some reason. I'm not sure why I'm still alive. I shouldn't be alive, but I am. You can take care of that. We, I don't think we can get grenades in there on those guys. The officer. I'm not, I'm not sure I want to take this shot, that seems a little bit too unsafe. So, you know, instead, we're gonna... Pull down. Let's move to this sector. Here, kill the guy, reload. Trigger the drone. Maybe not reload, but rather grenade.
just gonna get your pills. So we have this drone, we have a group of three here, we killed a group of three here, and we have a drone over here. That's eight enemies, that's probably all there is on the map. Uh, I think this flashbang needs to happen after all. I'm just gonna pixel hunt a little bit. So we could hit the officer here and nobody else, or we could the other two guys. That's amazing. That's actually fantastic. That saves us a lot of headache. Uh, by the way, we also have an advent loot set wrap. That means there are little boxes on the map somewhere with loot in them. It's not much. It's like, you know, a handful of supplies. If you get all the boxes, it's like 30 supplies or so. But this stage of the campaign, that would be actually a huge, huge bump. Um, like this box there. Might be something actually for Alpha to run back to. So where are we running here? So nobody will have run a side on us. The officer might come up here, but he can't really get in a position where he can shoot. I think we're just gonna dash here for now. Oh, I need to get inside and hack. Oh, we've got time. Now we need probably need your firepower. Affirmative. So I couldn't reload here. I don't know where the enemies are, which is a little bit awkward. Are we greedy? Uh, you bet. Okay, you go for the loot. All right, fair enough. Magazine here. Preparing to defend here. All right. Tired of waiting around. Everybody else goes for the shoot. Um, I'm on it. Don't get in position so I can can move in for the. Um, for the eventual. Activation here, um, hacking and all that stuff. One tile short of getting to the edge. That's kind of disappointing. If I go over there, now we did see because of the um, disorientation removed things, and you know, based on that, we can do a little bit of tile scanning to see where the enemies are. What do we do with this information? I don't know. I so have no idea where the officer is. Like, I, or, well, I see two guys, right? One is there, one is there. No, one is here. He. There might be people who are not tile scanning, but they're probably lying about this. Good. 
Sentry got the officer. What was the other guy? Engineer. Oh, I need to pick up that loot. I may need to actually start moving on the on the cell hack. With one overwatch, that's definitely not gonna kill the engineer. Needs. First of all, I need information. I need answers. I demand answers. Let's do this. What we could do on Gate Crusher, feeding some kills to our hero class, we can start to win here a little bit. We we got out of this without taking any real damage. What why can you not run through this what is happening here? I was a civilian I didn't see, okay. Um, are we just not? It's not a hack? Worst security ever. Moving to position. We've got the VIP in tow. Moving to evac. Alright, so we're missing out the kid XP on that one drone from the start. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's spend a little bit extra time checking if we have any more loot boxes. Surprise mechanics somewhere on the map. Righto, on my way. Not see anything. One good way, because they're kind of hard to see, right? Um, if you have someone of high mobility, then the squares around the loot box should have, should have that, that green loot icon. So having them kind of spaced out here and just looking, where can I go? Is there any green loot icons? It's a good way of finding the loot boxes, you know, like this stuff here. But I don't see anything, so I'm just going to decide. It's done. No, that's just the usual kind of bench that's down there. Yeah, all right, doesn't matter. Uh, but things to do, places to be. Running. Good to go. Follow me. Stuck here. Cool. So, a lot of our people had fairly low willpower, so I kind of want to make sure that we get them I'm not lingering out here too long. Let's migrate over there. I think we can go, and um, yeah, you'll be out in two turns. Solid copy. There's something out there. 
Horsemen are coming in. That's not a threat at this point. Nothing that drops in can overwatch. And even then, we're one tile away from evac. That's a safe over um, safe move. I've got eyes on advent troops. Maybe if I'm incredibly lucky, I can pick up a pick up one more kill. Let's move already. Bombs away. I'm gone. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. So yeah, it was just the drone and the bonus trooper. So we actually got all the kill XP we could get. So you can always, for kills, you can get as many kill XP as there are enemies on the map. At the start of the mission, we had eight enemies on the map, two dropped in as reinforcements. That's all the kill XP we got. With all this mission, there was certainly no luck involved of getting out of there without any wounds. It's all expert play that you saw. We did have two loot destroyed uh, messages there. And our grenadier is already tired. That's kind of disappointing. All right. Going for needle grenades, giving us plus one damage against unarmored enemies. And grenades no longer destroy loot. Been nice to have that. Um, with our skirmisher, kind of low aim. But high mobility and high mobility thing, I think, just speaks to me that you want to be shooting stuff. We also got hunter's instincts here. Low combat intelligence. That's I want to say 35 points. So as much as I would like to say, yeah, hunter's instincts great, impulse is great. Um, that's 70. Not sure you can get that. Um, but yeah, so I want to take, I want to go for what I come to like most as a shooter build, which is battlefield awareness. After you get a kill, you're untouchable. That effect can only happen every four turns, but it's also only consumed if someone actually shoots at you. And then reflex. Um, so if somebody shoots at you, you have three actions the next turn. Um, attacks against you suffer minus 15 penalty to critical hit chances. I didn't even know that reflex had that effect in it. What? <laughs> How long have I been playing this mod? Alright, so in the past and in my guide you probably see me very much advocating for combat presence into and then also manual override. Um, I'm kind of both of these have been nerfed significantly since I made that guide, especially Comment Presence has now a, I don't know, five turn cooldown, so you can use it basically once per mission, realistically. So I think um, even more mobility with Implacable is really good, Chain Shot is also really good. Um, we'll make that decision when we get there. So, like for the whole nine skills here, yeah, that's gonna be a mm, I don't know. So there's a very good chance, given our low combat intelligence, that we skip tech sergeant. We're not picking any skill here, and instead save the AP and pick up impulse. From hero classes, you can do that because they also purchase their regular skills with AP, right? So we can get some more AP to pick up both impulse and hunter's instincts. And yeah, then we, we'll see from there. Um, all right, our specialist is going to go into Sentinel. And we can actually take the promotions right away, right? This is going to be our ranger and our sharpshooter. I don't mind either way who gets what. And it's not like 
not like there's any anything fancy here that you can do. All right. Um, yeah. So first, first sharpshooter is gonna be a good old death from above build. So, interesting. If we can pair you up with a holo targeter, aim assist could bring real, real value there. Predator sounds nice on paper, right? Additional 15 aim and crit against enemies that are flanked or out of cover. Look, if your sharpshooter does not have 100% aim against an enemy that's flanked and out of cover, then you have a different problem. You don't need Predator. 15 crit. Flanked enemy means 40% chance to crit. Sniper rifle has 10% base crit chance. So you're sitting at 50. Um, what else is going to be affecting crit? I guess at that steady weapon, that's another 25. So you're probably at 75% to crit flanked enemies anyway. If you really need a crit, that's what you got precision shot for. So I'm not not sure that Predator adds much to a sniper sharpshoot. Um, aim assist will work against targets in cover, right? So if we have a hollow targeting sniper, that's 40 aim and crit against an enemy that we hollow target. And then you have Reposition and Implacable, kind of both doing the same thing. This is after a kill, this is after shooting. Not necessarily killing, but only shooting a flanked or exposed target. And then there's also Main. Strong utility against like Berserkers. Um, Berserker Queen. Like, Predator would be a good skill if you really, really want to go to Snapshot and you're like running around flanking enemies. But why would you do that? Just get a Ranger if you want to run around and shoot people. Alright, so what are we doing here? Um, lock and load. Kills, restore ammo. That's good. Serial? Probably not. Lightning reflexes is not terrible. I did mention I want to build at least one Overwatch, um, Overwatch Ranger. Might be you. Got 10 supplies from that chest. Alright. Get you working on this then, blue. And so now that we have our 8 base classes, that means a pensive has now a fresh deck of 8 classes to randomly roll into. So let's not keep you as a rookie for much longer and get you as a technical. Wonderful. Perfect. Well worth the wait. Um, very high combat intelligence. We've got run and gun. Fantastic. 15 mobility is yeah, no, that's that's gotta be another another flamer. And click Firestorm here. Why not? And it doesn't mean, you know, I'm just planning. By the way, this, for those not aware, um, this is a talent planning option, which is part of the... Uh, if you go to your mod settings, you should have community promotion screen because that's required for Bungo of the Chosen. And there's the ability tray planner mode. You can turn on 
it's by default, it's set to disable. Turn it to basic and you can plan things. Turn it to advanced and it puts weird numbers in there, which I'm not sure what exactly they, they would be for. Um, so yeah. All right. And the supply scanning site. Okay, so we do have now a mission respawned in our home region, a fast to find and run one in. So we're gonna stop making contact here and try to find that new mission. This is ready. We want to launch this. Got a squad of one rookie and four squad ECM. But we're going to do that in the next episode. Um, so we got the new campaign off the ground. It's not... No, I'm not saying we're not doing a Psy Rush, but it's at the moment Man, not looking great. No new supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out new means of replenishing our resources. That's one problem. The other problem is, of course, yeah, the loot we had from Gate Pressure wasn't great. We couldn't sell enough to have the scientist right from the get-go. Um, we didn't get any Lyrum Core that yet. So um, we'll see if we get one from the from this mission we're doing right now. It's also not there's the other tier type of Smash and Gray wrap mission can give you Lyrum crates, but Lyrum cores from the crates. Not Illyrium crates from the course, um, but this one doesn't. So chances are we might not be able to do Cyrush. In that case, Alien Biotech is not a terrible second research, but we might just have to pivot into a, a standard, more standardly built. But I'll make that decision next time. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, welcome to the new campaign, and yeah, maybe maybe. Um, if you have any questions, anything that I should explain in more detail, etc., please let me know in the comments below or and or join the Discord to join the discussion there. Uh, make sure to, to follow along if you want to get notified about the next few episodes. And uh, thanks so much. See you next time.